friends welcome to tutorials point in this video we are going to learn content aware move tool in adobe photoshop so friends content aware move tool is a powerful feature in adobe photoshop that allows you to move object within an image and it's filled the vacated space with a new content that matches the surrounding area now it's useful tool for photo editing and compositing as it allows you to easily remove unwanted object from an image and replace them with a new elements. So friends, let's see how we can use this content aware move tool. So first of all, you can find this content aware move tool in a toolbar menu over here. So friends, here you can see all the tool in a J category. Okay. If you want to switch from one tool to another in a J category, then just press shift plus J from your keyboard. And as you can see, you can switch from one tool to another. You can also expand this like this. So friends, I'm just selecting my content aware move tool from here. So now guys, let's move to our example where we are going to use this content aware move tool. So first of all, we are going to use our content aware move tool on this footage. Okay. So first of all, once you selected this content aware move tool, just select the part you want to fill with another part. For example, I want to move this kid from here to here. So what I'm doing, I'm just selecting this kid and now I'm just moving to here to here and just press enter. And as you can see, content aware is start doing their work. So friends, I want to tell that the content aware move tool uses an advanced algorithm to analyze the surrounding areas of an object you want to move and determine the best way to fill the vacated space. As you can see over here, it takes into account the color, texture and pattern of the surrounding pixel to create a seamless transition between the original and a new content. So friends, like this, I just move this from here to here. Okay. Now friends, now we are going to see some properties of this content aware move tool on this top of the screen. So friend, first of all, instead of using this default selection tool, you can also use our selection tool like lasso tool, polygon lasso tool and a magnetic lasso tool. And after that selection, you can use our content aware move tool. For example, I am using this lasso tool. I am just selecting this part, okay, like this. And after that, we can use this content aware move tool to move this person from here to here. Or else, we can also use another selection tool. For example, I am using this polygonal lasso tool. Okay. And now I am just selecting the part I want. So friends, you can use any selection tool for the selection. And after that, you can use content aware move tool to fill that area. Okay, as you can see, I just select this part and now I'm selecting content aware move tool and just drag this here to here and press enter. So we are going to see one by one all these options in detail. So friends, as you can see. Now friends, once we selected this area, for example, I'm selecting this area like this. Okay, and by mistake, I got this foot part. Okay, now I want to add this part. So what we have the option? We have option here, new selection, add to selection, subtract from selection and intersect with selection. These all options we already seen in our selection tool, but still we are going to implement in this footage. So first of all, I want to add this foot part. So what I am doing, I am just selecting this add to selection and now I am just adding this part like this. Okay. And as you can see, our foot part is added. Now I don't want this part because it's extra part. I want to remove this part. So what I'm doing, I'm using the next option, which is subtract from selection. And I'm just selecting the part I want to subtract from this footage like this. And as you can see, it subtract from the footage. Okay. See. Like this, you can also subtract it from the footage. And now I'm just using my content aware move tool and you can move from here to here. Now friends, 
beside this you see a mode where is a two option move and extend so once i'm selecting move and drag this kit from here to here and press enter so it's just move that kit from this part to this part and here it will fill with the texture okay now i want this kit over here and i also want the duplicate of this kit to here so what i am doing i am just using this content aware move tool selecting this part i want like this okay and now i am going to select extend once i am selecting this extend and drag this kit from here to here and as you can see the both kits will be there like this okay as you can see the texture or the surrounding the area is not good that we are going to cover in our next option so friends first of all i am going to show you some other example for example okay now the next property we are going to see with this example okay so first of all i am using this content our move tool so now next is structure so enter a value between 1 to 7 to specify how closely the patch should reflect existing image pattern if you enter 7 the patch attach very strongly to existing image pattern and if you enter 1 the patch attach very loosely to the ex existing image pattern so next is color so right now the color is 10 so enter a value between 0 to 10 to specify the extent to which you want Photoshop to, to apply a color blending to patch. If you enter 0, the color blending is disabled and if you apply 10, it's apply a maximum color blending. Okay. For example, I am just apply color blending to 0 and now I am just selecting this kid. Okay. And now just drag to here to here and press enter. So as you can see, the color blending will not that much good. See, you still you can recognize the color blend. Fine. And now we are going to see the same example with the color blending of maximum. And now we are going to select this kit. Okay. And now I am just drag this kit from here to here and press enter. So friends as you can see it's blend the maximum color blending so this is a use of this color and it is a very useful okay now beside this you can see a sample all layer so what is this sample all layers so enable this option to create the result of the move in another layer using the information from all the layers so friends let's see some example so first of all i am using this example and i am show you what are the limitations of this content aware move tool for example i am using this content aware move tool and selecting this part fine and just move to here to here okay and press enter so friends as you can see it's not blend properly so while the content aware move tool is a powerful feature it's not perfect it works best with a simple well-defined object on a uniform background if a surrounding areas are complex like this or the objects has interacted detail then the result may not be good additionally the content aware move tool may not work well with the certain types of content such as a faces or text as it can create a distortions and a blurring in this area as you can see it will blur some part fine now same we will see with a color blending to zero and now i'm just selecting this part just move to here to here and press enter so now you can see the magic of this color option see the blending is not good okay so like this you can use a color option to make it your footage more precisely good so friends in our next example okay now we are using our color option to maximum and now we are going to select this part like this okay fine i want to add this part because it will be removed okay and now i'm using this content aware move tool and just press enter 
and friend as you can see because of the color grading is maximum it's look very realistic so let's see our next example here so let's select this part like this fine I'm just doing this roughly but you can do this perfect okay okay and I'm just using this content over move tool to put here to here and press enter our color blending is maximum and as you can see the result is very nice okay now we are going to change the mode from extend to move so that this part is filled with a surrounding ground and I'm just moving to here and press enter so friends as you can see it will take some time so just because of our color blending is maximum it will blend up properly okay so like this you can use a content aware move tool in a many different way so let's see this example okay just move this to here to here and press enter and it's done so like this you can use a content aware move tool in a many different way in adobe photoshop so friends that's all about a content aware move tool in adobe photoshop so to summarize the content aware move tool uses an advanced algorithm to analyze the surrounding areas of the object you want to move and determine the best way to fill the vacant space now it takes into the account the color texture and pattern of the surrounding pixel to create a seamless transition between the original and the new content so friends that's all about the content of our move tool in adobe photoshop in our next video we are going to learn the red eye tool in adobe photoshop thank you so much guys see you in the next video